You ever feel like giving up, like your goals are never going anywhere? There's a couple of reasons that that is probably happening. Well, I was gonna use a skate park as an example, but apparently we aren't going in there because of this COVID-19 thing. Or just using biking as another example, man. You know, you can't just hop on a BMX bike or a mountain bike, whatever it is that you enjoy and expect to do a backflip right away. You have to like make realistic goals. A very good example for me is I absolutely love cars, but of course me buying a Lamborghini right now is not possible. So some goals that I've set for myself in 2020 is to reach 100,000 subscribers on my gaming channel. But you know what really sucks? Is I want that Lamborghini right now. I want to buy a Ferrari right now. I want a McLaren right now. I want all three of them right now. You want to do a backflip on a skateboard now. People are that way. But how do I stay motivated when it is unrealistic to buy a Lamborghini right now, a McLaren right now, a Ferrari right now, or all three of those right now? I have one simple answer for you. And that answer is something that I do in every single one of my videos, despite what the title is or what the video is actually about. Reminders. We're walking right here for a reason. There's a lot of really nice houses in this neighborhood. It's unrealistic for me to buy one of these houses when they're probably all $500,000 or more. Another good example of something that I go to all of the time for those reminders is YouTube. Find people that are making content on things that you enjoy personally. Finding YouTubers that are making videos on McLarens, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, etc. I subscribe to those people because they're making videos all the time on cars and that's the reminder there for me. I wanted to come up through this neighborhood because of the houses as an example as well. It all depends on what you want in life. And even though I know you're all gonna accomplish big things with your lives and be extremely successful, something else that helps me a lot is getting outside and exercising. I'm not talking about trying to get one of those unrealistic body types where you have a 12 pack abs, a nice big chest, nice big arms. Just get out and do stuff that makes you feel better. And the crazy thing about all of this is everything that we've been talking about in this video was because of a comment that I got on my gaming channel asking me why I'm not uploading my vlogs to that channel and started a new one. You know, man, it's like, I love gaming. I absolutely love playing video games, especially games that remind me about cars. Need for Speed Heat being the most recent game because they have my car inside of that game and customizing them is just really cool and it's that reminder that I keep talking about on what my car can eventually look like. But what people do is they set themselves up for failure. Anyways, there was a reason that I ended up bringing up that comment that I got on my gaming channel asking why I started my vlog channel and I'm not just uploading to my gaming channel. It's because I've struggled a lot with things in my life and I don't care if people know about it because I am very happy 
that I overcame an eating disorder, something that I struggled with for 15 years, a little over 15 years. I struggled with anorexia and bulimia. And watching motivational videos on YouTube and doing YouTube, doing YouTube, 15 years. I want you to think about struggling with an addiction for 15 years. And then making videos on YouTube is what helps you overcome that after trying hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of different things throughout your life. When I say I love YouTube, I genuinely love YouTube. I love doing it. I don't consider it a job because it's something that I enjoy doing so much. But when I was struggling, when I was trying, when I wanted to get rid of my addiction, but I couldn't like get that push, I went to YouTube for motivational videos. And I'm gonna go ahead and mention his name right now because he's a really cool guy. How to Beast. He's just, his videos are very motivating. They're not intentionally meant to be motivating. He does what I do in my content by just randomly saying something in every single one of his videos, despite what the title is actually about. So because I like doing YouTube so much, I just figured why not just make a vlog channel and upload the vlogs, motivational videos, and car videos on that. A lot of people misunderstand that YouTube is not just a click upload and then your video immediately does well. A lot of people end up misunderstanding how YouTube actually works. You can't just click the upload button and have your video do well or your channel do well. My gaming channel is gaming. So I, even though I do upload one vlog every single week, that is not a permanent thing because when people go to YouTube, they either subscribe or don't subscribe to a channel for a reason. So with me, I'm hoping it's very obvious from what you guys are seeing throughout all of my vlogs. I put a lot, a lot of time, a lot of time and effort into them. So I just, it's very difficult for me to get more than two videos out every single week, more than one or two. Some weeks it's only one. And that's because I put a ton of time and effort into them. So if somebody goes over to my gaming channel and sees a vlog that they really enjoy and they want to subscribe because of that, it affects me because then they're going to see all of my gaming videos and they're like, well, I didn't want to subscribe because of gaming videos. I wanted to subscribe because I was enjoying his vlog. That's just how it works. You know, once in a while, it's perfectly fine. But like with this channel, even though I'm only able to upload one or two videos every single week, people are going to come and if they're watching one of my videos and they go to my channel, they're going to see that this is the type of content that I do in all of and every single time I upload. Anyways, man, the whole point of this video was because I'm well aware that I could probably just upload my vlogs to my gaming channel, but the way I see that is that's taking the easy road, and that also would affect my gaming channel. So the reason that I wanted to make this is because you all have to start from somewhere, and you need to, you need to set goals that can actually achieve what you really want because if you set your goals too high and you never ever ever accomplish them that's just going to make you want to give up and you're not going to want to do it anymore so that's basically the whole point of this video was just not to care what other people think about you you do what you want to do you do what you enjoy and just you know live the best life that you want the only good examples that I could have that I really liked were houses and cars. 
but whatever it is that you want, it is, it's achievable. Anybody can do anything. That, that's saying that you can do whatever you want, it's true. It's just, you can't sit on your butt and wait for it to be handed to you. You actually have to push in order to do that. It's like, I guarantee you every single one of these people that are driving by right now are asking, what the hell is that kid doing? And it's just, when I first started these vlogs, I just, I was all alone. I just, like, I felt like people were gonna think I was weird going out and recording myself. But at this point, dude, I just don't care about it anymore. I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna do what I'm proud of, and I'm just gonna keep living my life. And yeah, YouTube, I'm extremely proud of YouTube. So, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, you know what to do. Throw a thumbs up for the video. Don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff, you know what I mean? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.